Did you guys know there's going to be a Batman Superman movie? <laughs> what is happening, my Android friends? Welcome to App of the Week. That's right. I am David, of course, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com. And we're going to be looking at a nice little cool app called Floating Toucher. It's kind of like pie controls, but you get a full pie. And that looks delicious. It looks delicious. Yes, this little icon right here, which you can actually move. See me moving it? I just like it right here. It's like a little bat signal right over there. And yeah, once you touch it, you can access toggles. You can access apps, anything you want to put in there. And uh, if you're in an app, it doesn't matter what app you're in. Like say if I go to YouTube, it's right there for you. So there you go. It's really awesome stuff. Let's take a look at the settings. We can hit the middle button here. Custom, um, you can add and uh, get away with stuff, you know, if you want nothing, if you don't want the home button right here, I can add like an app or a different toggle, which is cool. Let's see, should I add, yeah, let's just put ring mode, sweet. Um, and then of course we can go over here to customize this toucher, which is the, there's only five colors. If you want pink, it's pretty, it's fuchsia, salmon, we got green which is Android-ish. Then you got this color, which through my little LCD, it looks very almost holo-like, but it's actually more teal, like a teal color. And you can have black. Yeah, I like the blue. And then you can go over here to customize your icon. They give you some uh, icons like Captain America's Shield and Superman. So I made this by just uh, going into my existing um, gallery, and I had this in there, and you just crop it boom you got it there and then you can adjust the size if you want it huge you can but i like it smaller keep it small um and of course you can do the transparency which i keep at 50 because it actually it's not that much of a nuisance but if you want it not as noticeable then do it then you got your settings up here too where you just have it enabled or not enabled auto launch when it comes up and of course root about root features because there's some functions in here where you do need root which they're not a lot just some of the apps some of the toggles and stuff too another cool thing too like a um, um, wrong screen here everything's reloading so that happens sometimes if you hold it down Ta-da, it's gone. And now it's in your notifications. And you can hit it and get it right back. If you double tap, it goes right into your recent apps, which is cool too. So, not a bad little app. Um, you can get the, there's a free version. And then, of course, you can get a pro version, which is, I think, was like $2 and some change. So, not that bad at all. I highly recommend it. I really like this app. It just adds to not having to have an app drawer, which I actually will probably have a video about the top 10 ways where you can not have an app drawer really on your phone. It's really cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. And make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie with AndroidSpin.com. This has been App of the Week. Floating toucher. Who wants to touch me? That's disgusting. Sorry. Bye-bye.